I recently updated my main computer to the M2 iPad and I've used iPads for years for our work and otherwise. And a big hole obviously in the iPad's resume has always been that it didn't have full external monitor support. And several years ago, they added the ability to mirror the iPad display, which wasn't that useful in most cases. And you know, in recent years, iPads have had the same processors as a lot of the full powered Macs and uh, laptops and otherwise, and uh, now have you know eight to 16 gigabytes of RAM and uh, full capability spec wise to do full external monitor support. So everybody hoped it would come, uh, and me in particular. So with the most recent uh, beta versions of iPadOS, uh, Apple has in fact released full external monitor support. And I also recently upgraded my main monitor to a 49 inch super ultra wide Samsung Odyssey G9. That was after a lot of research on options. There are uh, several options now for a good quality 49 inch monitor, pretty reasonably priced too. Uh, they're available for under a grand. <clears throat> so I wanted to get my iPad hooked up to this 49 inch monitor and uh, I've <laughs> studied and researched and joined the Apple beta uh, program, which anyone can join. You don't have to be a developer to get the software early. And uh, I couldn't get a solid answer online anywhere for if it would actually work with a monitor this size. Uh, and so I eventually, you know, got the hookup to do it via USB-C and HDMI. And that didn't work. It did display to the screen, but it was distorted uh, and stretched. And so I kept reading and eventually uh, a lot of things I read seemed to suggest that display port would be the best option and that's what ended up working. So this setup is an M2 iPad Pro, 12.9 inch, with the Samsung Odyssey G9 49 inch super ultra wide monitor. I've got a Surface Arc mouse, uh, the Magic Keyboard that's built for iPad and the Magic Keyboard that is built by Apple for any computer, Macs in particular, I guess. And then I'm, I'm hooking this up with a USB-C to display port cord. And then I have the iPad also charging with a USB-C uh, connected to the Magic Keyboard. Uh, otherwise, uh, it could be hooked up, but it would always have to be unplugged to be charged. So the US, the uh, Magic Keyboard gives you the extra USB-C dock. Um, and that's what it took to get this working. Uh, it's iPad, iPad OS 16.2. You can join the Apple beta software program. Just Google that. Uh, it, it should be the first result and doesn't really require much to join. It's free. And uh, the dev of this came out a day before the, it was you know released to the, the general beta program. Um, and this system is a little clunky. So if you watch, you move the cursor to the left and you see all the apps you have open. If you move it all the way to the right and down, it brings up the dock. These uh, icons are huge. I mean, it's the, the display looks beautiful. I think this is full resolution. Apple says this can output to 6K, um, but these icons are huge. So I hope that's one thing that they change. And I don't know if this is actually full resolution. The way that the system works is you can open an app either from the dock on the big screen, or you can open it on uh, the iPad and then move it to the display. So if I open Apple TV, there'll be these three dots and I can move to the display. Uh, in this case, it closed all my other apps. Um, I can click on this section here and they all come back up. There's big restrictions on uh, how big you can make them, how small you can make them, where you can put them. Uh, it's not, you know, like Windows or uh, on a Mac where you can, you know, kind of do whatever you want. Uh, and then there's also this wasted space to the left where the, where the, I guess the, the open app dot comes up 
I hope that's something that they change too. You can't really have an app there. Uh, the only exception is, so if I make something big enough that it gets that four, sometimes, yeah, it'll, it'll let you fill in that part of the screen. Um, but you can't fill it in without having it overlap other apps. So, you know, it's in beta, um, but the system is clunky right now. Stuff does crash a bit, uh, but not that much. I, uh, I do work on this uh, on Microsoft Intune, and I have four apps that I, that I generally always have open. Uh, Edge, Teams, Vonage, and uh, Outlook, and it, it works well. Uh, I've used it the last couple of days. Um, so this is pretty cool. So uh, I'm posting this video because I did a lot of research on this and I couldn't really get a solid answer. Uh, and the external display support has been available in beta for months now. Uh, and they pulled it on one of the most recent beta releases and then, but then immediately put it back right before they uh, released 16.1 publicly. Um, but for, for anybody who's curious, the M2 iPad does output to a 49 inch monitor. Uh, it looks like it's full resolution to me. If I'm missing something, please let me know in the comments. Uh, and all I have here is the most current iPad Pro, which is the M2. This is the Wi-Fi version um, and the lowest uh, hard drive size, I think 128. So that means it has eight gigs of RAM. Uh, and then the big monitor, the 49 inch Samsung Odyssey uh, with a display port to USB-C cord and then charging via the USB-C port on my Magic Keyboard. Um, I couldn't find all that information consolidated online. Uh, I also know that you can use this with smaller monitors. I've tried that, uh, but the real question for me, since Apple said it was you know, able to output 6K, I thought it should work on this one, uh, and in fact it does. So hopefully some of you find this useful. Thanks.